David Purdue here from MyNAMS.com and I had promised to show you how I use these stock photo images um, that I have purchased in the past from these private label rights packages. This is a really valuable thing and you know, I'm so glad that you jumped on this and grabbed your package and I'll show you quickly now. Um, there were two ways that you could have purchased this. The first is the personal rights. Uh, to this uh, stock photo package or the, uh, the the second and nearly everybody did this because I pushed you to do this was the private label rights to these stock images. Now there's a good reason for that. When you uh, get onto this page and you see um, the images that you have and the price difference from the private label rights versus the resale rights or the personal use rights. Um, you know for 10 bucks more you could own the ability to create your own products out of the out of this package now we've done that in the past one of the great things and I don't care what business you're in if you have a blog or any kind of uh, advertising mechanism at all in your business you're going to need stock photos um, and anybody that you teach is going to need stock photos as well so this is a great little product to be selling to people as well so what I did was I purchased this private label rights to this package but I also have purchased the private label rights to packages like this in the past and uh, I promised to tell you how I use them and show you how I manage them so how I use them um, we have a package that we sell that we love this is the last package that we purchased about eight months ago maybe ten months ago and we uh, sold this this was 2,000 images royalty free we purchased the uh, private label rights to this we took their sales page we that we had the rights to use and we modified the sales page to be the my name's royalty free photos volume 4 and we included all those images here um, and we sold this for anywhere from $19 to $37 on a regular basis. Um, we've priced it at $77. So we occasionally drop the price on this and sell it more. Now we paid $70 total for the private label rights to this package of 2,000 images. And so in that time period, in the last 18, I mean the last 8 to 10 months, we have made about $2,200 from this package. And it's really important to remember if you're in business, you need to have some lower cost items that you can sell occasionally to get people to use their credit cards because it's part of the training. The, the uh, credit card, using a credit card is part of the training and you want people to uh, purchase as much as possible. So let me just get rid of this. Now, here's the package that you got. This has 5,000 images and hopefully you got the upsell on it, which gave you another 10,000 images, all with private label rights. So what can you do with the private label rights? The package comes with clearly identified license details here. You'll have this PDF file in each of the packages that you purchase, giving you the rights and the rules. So with your private label rights, let's just quickly take a look here. You can use it in personal works. You can uh, use it for unlimited personal projects. Combine more than one or combination of assets in a package to create a unique media offer. Uh, can be packaged, can be offered as a bonus, can be added to a paid membership site. This is really important right there added to a paid membership site, added to a free membership site, can be offered on auction sites. You can do just about everything with this. Can be used in personal works, unlimited personal commercial, unlimited client commercial, uh, combine more than one product, bigger products, sell or transfer master resale rights. So right here, if you purchase this, you have a personal, you can sell basically two or three products from this. You can sell resale rights and master resale rights. So that's three different products. Personal use, resale rights, and master resale rights. You can add, a, so one could be $10, $20, $30. Right, right there is three different product levels. Um, and you can keep 100% of the profit on this. You don't have to pay anybody for it. You get all of that material. So that's the, that's the really nice thing about private label rights images as set up here. Okay, so you've purchased, so you understand the value of this, but let me just reiterate. I sold, I purchased the last package at $70 and sold about $2,200 worth of product in reselling these, and that's about a 3,100% return on my $70 investment. That's good business.
So the hardest part about any stock photo package that you purchase is not the images, not organizing the images, it's the words. What do you do with the words? Um, so most, uh, listen, I had a stock photo agency. I owned a stock photo agency with 300,000 images in it, and I represented about 150 photographers. And I uh, did that for six years, and I sold that company in 1995 to another agency in London um, to get out of that business. The hardest part about running that business was captioning the images and keywording those images. So why do you think that you're getting this package or that you got this package for about 20 bucks if you uh, did the PLR rights. It's because they don't have captions or keywords on them. But look at the images. They're certainly usable, but how are you going to use them when you can't search them? I'm going to help you with that right now. When you get your images and you download them, and uh, there are a lot of files here. These are, these are all of the files that I downloaded with this package, and I missed one there. These are all the files I downloaded with this package. So that's a ton of images, a lot of big files. It takes a little while to download these. So when you get your images, though, and you come to the one that you want to, um, you'll see they're all zips and zips, zip files archived. The one that you want to open up, you just double click it, and it's going to open up a zip folder. If you're using a Mac, you've got some kind of a extractor of some sort on your Mac. On your PC, you probably have in File Explorer some way to do that as well. I know I did on my PC. Um, but here's what you're going to see. So this is uh, basically a folder, and you just unzip it to wherever you want to unzip it uh, in your system. I always unzip to the same spot, and this is uh, a top-level folder. And then I'm going to unzip, and there are all those files, images in that one file. So if I click on these to open them up, you'll notice it still is not all that helpful because they're just lined up there um, with very little information on those images. So, you know, that's number one doesn't do me any good. Um, uh, and these have file names as well, but not so great, right? So now I've got that open like this on a Mac. You can do the pretty much the same thing on a PC. Uh, and what I like to do is come to the one on the Mac, come to the folder view here with the uh, cover flow. Um, so I come back to my folder at the top. This is very basic, out of the box, um, manage. So there's the folder. So I can scroll through there and see the images. And I can make this bigger so I can see even bigger images if I want. And that's helpful. But it's not exactly the kind of thing that we want to do all day long and scroll through these. And I, I will tell you, I've done a lot of scrolling to find images this way. And you can do it pretty quickly to, to uh, get through there. So the file manager is not always the best way. You want to actually think about doing some kind of, a, of an Im image management system. So let's take a quick look at a couple of op options here. I have used uh, Thumb Plus. Thumbs Plus. I've used this. It is a, um, uh, a program that you can download from uh, CNET or this is download.cnet.com, Thumbs Plus. Uh, or you can go to a lot of software uh, places to grab this. It's called Thumbs Plus Pro. It's for Windows only. Um, it's a pretty good software for creating galleries and organizing and managing your images. So it's also free to, uh, it's a free software. Um, shareware type thing so there's no investment in this I use this for a long time okay or you can just do a search on media management for Mac or media management for PC and you'll find lots of options so there's Picasa um, you could even do this with with Gritter by the way did I say Gritter Flickr by the way you could even do this with Flickr if you wanted to um, but here is a couple of uh, other applications that you could use. You might want to check out Picasa if you're on the Mac and you want something free. This is by Google. Uh, Picasa is by Google. Um, but what I ended up doing is going to a tool called Lightroom. And I love Lightroom. Lightroom is the Adobe tool. It You can download that as well from, uh, from um, uh, the CNET download site. Uh, and it's a free to try, which means you're going to end up having to buy it. You're going to end up having to purchase this tool. So let me just bring it down in here so you can see the whole thing. Okay. Um, 
this is this is you don't have to do this tool you can do any of the management tools but what you want is a tool that allows you to see at different levels so here is my photos level that's all of my photos here is the uh, images that I the PLR images so if I click at the top level you'll see it says here 868 images so I can scroll through here if I want and see all of those images as I scroll through or I can go to just the directory. This has 10 subdirectory that has 10, 10 images. I can see much easier. Okay. Now, what if I want to actually enter words so I can search these images if I want to? So you want to make sure that the, the image manager that you get has a keyword tagging capability. This one does. And so this is Lightroom by Adobe. So I'm going to type in here, this is advertising. So I'm going to type in advertising. Then I'm going to add, um, let's see, uh, outdoor. Advertising. Billboards. And I think that's probably all I'm going to add here for keywords there. Yeah, okay. So if I apply that, then I have these that are tagged with that keyword set. And I can even add a caption to this as, if I want to as well. So, um, and, and in some management tools like Lightroom here, you can actually edit these as well. Now, if I wanted to come down and change my view, down here I could select one I've got one selected here and go to the view there's the view of that image if I want to do a show in finder I just right click show in finder see I can even edit in Adobe Photoshop or some other application I can merge I can set a flag a color label um, and do a lot of the the things that you um, want to do to manage images here. So if I do the show and finder, it's going to bring it up in my file manager so that I can do whatever I want, drag that into whatever program I want to drag it into. All right, so that is um, Lightroom. And I think Lightroom or any image management system that you use, you want to make sure that you have the capability to be able to add keywords and do some, some simple editing if you want and some simple viewing techniques so notice this is another way to view here I can view the ribbon across the bottom and then I can go back to the image here or the uh, um, the top level domain here and see all my images from that so this is how I manage all of my images this is my hard drive here that has all my images on it and I can come into I can change the size of these thumbnails just by doing the slider here. That way I can see as many of these as I want. So I can find the, uh, the kind of the area that I'm looking for. So if I wanted to look at these icons here, I just zoom in. And I start seeing more detail about what those are. Okay, so that's image management. Okay, and the last thing I wanted to show you is actual use of these images. So um, this is the latest course that we did, which was the um, blogging like a pro. And this is the video portion of that course, uh, PowerPoint slides basically that I turned into video. So um, you can see that I every one of these you'll see higher on the side. Let me just actually let me do the full thumbnails on all these and you can see all of these have some kind of an image every slide has some kind of an image these with the people uh, another person there these all of this down through here all of these images or I'd say 95 percent of these images except for the icons I didn't bring the icons in but 95 percent of these images are from that package that I just purchased and the one that you just got as well so there's a ton of images here that you'll be able to use for your own um, products 
and you don't want to underestimate the value of those images that you can use for your own products. You can grab those and you'll find them uh, by slipping through the um, uh, image management system that you get and just going back and grabbing an image that's appropriate for what you want to do. So, really good set of tools, really good set of images. Congratulations on getting that set of uh, images. I think you're really going to love it. So, I just wanted to uh, give you a little tip here on how to use these image packs and what you can do with them. Don't forget, now that you've got the PLR, I hope you got the PLR pack, um, you've got a product to sell, you've got a product to use, and don't let it just sit and collect dust on your computer because they're incredibly valuable to use in your own products as well. So there you go. Thanks.